What's up, everybody? TJ BHC Lead P here. I'm a pastor in Wyoming. I make videos about Bibles, the Bible, tools and resources to help you in your study. And I throw in occasionally some of my life. Today happens to be one of those videos that is about somewhat my life and kind of what I do as a lead pastor. So if you've been around the channel for a long time, you know that I love everyday carry videos. So today I want to do one about what I carry every day. Now, if you watch last year's, today's has changed from last year. Let's talk about it. Let's jump into the video. So first thing is exteriorly, what do I carry? I always wear glasses. I buy glasses from zenny.com. They're inexpensive. They're decent. And I really, really enjoy them. Main thing being they're inexpensive. And I have a two-year-old, so sometimes break some glasses. I always have a hat on. Today is a Gonzaga Bulldogs hat. I lived in Spokane for a lot of my life, so rocks the Gonzaga hat. Bought it about a year ago and have kind of worn it out, but I wear a hat almost every single day. No, it's not because I'm nervous about my hair. No, it's not because I don't like the gray. No, I just don't like to do my hair, and I feel like if I'm, if I'm not wearing a hat that I need to, and I just don't like to, I don't get down with that. On my wrist is the, this is something that has changed from last year. This is the Apple Watch SE, um, the blue one. And I just got some bands from Amazon, just some kind of silicone, more sporty ones. I upgraded my Apple Watch one. The battery life on my three was dying a ton. And then I wanted some of the newer features that weren't on the three. Um, and I use this every day to track my exercise, my heart rate, all sorts of different stuff. I also like having an Apple Watch because in a meeting, I rather look at my wrist for um, if there's a notification to know if it's important, if it's my wife, if I need to take it, or just I wear a watch in general just to tell the time. I also like to keep track of the date, all that kind of stuff. So as far as exterior goes, that's pretty much it. Oh, I do wear one of these thin red line bands from um, Flatirons Church. I went down there with my brother and grabbed it. It just reminds me to be a better man, better husband, better father every single day. I wear a hoodie, and so normally in one of my hoodie or jacket pocket pockets, I have my AirPod Pros, and I have AirPod Pros. These, this is something I recently upgraded this year. My AirPod Generation 2s were starting to go out um, and weren't holding a charge, and I use headphones wirelessly, and I use my AirPods every single day. Sometimes I work from coffee shops, so I'll put both of them in, put in the sound canceling. For workouts, man, putting these sound canceling headphones in in our garage, we have a big heater, and that's where I work out at. And just putting this in, man, no distraction. You can listen to podcasts or whatever uh, workout music when I'm working out. I absolutely love these things. I also love the Find My feature because sometimes you just misplace them, and boom, there you go. Um, it had they have speakers on the bottom. Great. This is the USB C ferry variant um, with the the USB C case of the AirPod Gen Pro twos or whatever. I love them. I'm not a huge fan of the silicone tips, but it is what it is. I love these. I have them in an ESR case. Uh, it, this case has magnets on the edge of it, just so that like if it falls out, it's less likely to pop open. And then I just love this case. It's slim. It's protective. That's what I was looking for. So I always have AirPods on me. Now we'll go from right pocket to the back pockets. Um, in my right pocket, first things first, I always have some kind of knife on me today i have the kershaw cryo 2 and this will be or kershaw cryo sorry this isn't a cryo 2 this is one of the first knives i ever bought i really like this thing it's spring assisted which is normally a no-go for me but i always have a knife i've had this knife for probably eight or nine maybe ten years i've had it for a long time it looks great it's in the rotation and so i really enjoy the kershaw cryo but i always have a knife on me um never know when i'm gonna have to open a package or cut something off of something, or even, I know you shouldn't, but a little bit of a pry tool if necessary, but just a knife just to have. No, it's not there for defensive application. It's really just there to open packages or deal with whatever we got to deal with. Also in the right pocket, we have our church's prayer coin. So we did prayer coins for the men. It's just an armor of God prayer coin. Very generic. You can get them off of Walmart. Shout out to Isaac who donated these so that we could have them. Um, and the challenges for men to grab them, kind of like a challenge coin in the military. Um, key, I keep this in my pocket to remind me to pray for my brothers in Christ. Um, I have another one in my bag. We'll talk about that a little later. 
but it's just an armor of God coin. Men in our church carry them. Um, I've carried them and given them away um, at speaking engagements to encourage someone. Uh, just remember to pray and see God through everything. And just a reminder to put on the armor of God. But we have these at the church for men to come in and grab. So I keep that in my pocket. Just remind me to pray. This one will go in my bag as summer hits and I start to wear shorts. But that's a different story. Then we got, um, I normally have a money clip in my pocket that says, Dad, a gift from a friend. Shout out, Chris. I still carry that thing. I still love it. But I carry a money clip because I carry this as my wallet. Now, this is just a wooden business card holder. I can't remember the brand. I bought it off of Amazon. Um, I love this thing. So it's just unique. It's a business card holder, but I hold it'll. I hold three cards in here, the main ones I need. Um, normally, my debit card, my um, Samsung card, and then my ID. And then in there as well, I put my business cards. I went a little overboard with my business cards and got them embossed and did some cool stuff with them when I went to lead pastor business cards. Um, and then I keep a punch card for Beach Please Drink Company in here. And then if anybody else gives me their business card, I normally have a little extra room in here just to carry this. I went with this because it's different. Um, I was getting tired of the Ridge Wallet. And then I had, I don't know what else I had. I had, a le I've gone through leather wallets. I was using the Apple MagSafe wallet for a while and just decided I wanted a way to carry my business cards and my cards on me. And I was carrying a gen another generic business card holder. And then I was like, I want to upgrade a little bit. I found this and I really like this. Do I know how long this will last? No, I've only had it for a couple weeks. It chips up in my pocket. The knife bangs up against it, but whatever. It builds character and this is my wallet. I, I think this thing is really cool and it's a cool conversation starter. Next in my lap left pocket is where I always have my keys. So I have my, my keys for my car. Um, and I think my house key is on there as well as for the church four wheelers on here just so I can throw it on there. Um, I drive a Honda Pilot, so nothing fancy, but I got my key there. And then I have this key bar with all the keys that go to the church. Um, do, and to be honest with you, I do not know what some of these go to. I know one is my office, like the office building key, the office key, and then the main entrance doors. And then after that, it gets kind of convoluted, but I know, oh, and some is mailbox. So I know that I need the keys in here. Um, but I don't know what all of them do all the time, but I have our, our building is, is so many keys. Uh, that'll change when the church goes debt free. We'll, we'll deal with some of that, but boom, I got my key bar with all my office church keys in there. And then I always have some chapstick right now, rocking the Burt's Bees chapstick. I live in Wyoming, especially in the winter. It gets cold. Lips get chapped. You need chapstick. Um, just nice. And then I always have a flashlight in that pocket as well. This is the Phoenix E12 and it's generations old. It's got three modes, uh, low, medium, bright. Um, I use this flashlight every single day, um, almost, because you, you drop something under the couch, got to look for something, boom. You got a light, a little flashlight. Now I know I could use my phone, but when I don't want to pick up my phone or I need something I can put in my mouth, changing a car battery or doing something outside, working on something and I just need a little bit of light, boom. There it is, Phoenix Q12. I know that seems a little overkill, but I've actually gone back and forth with that, and that has found its way back in my pocket. Then I have this pen sleeve, this leather pen sleeve from Ashton. I picked this up from Boule Pen Company, um, which is a fountain pen company. They put out cool papers and stuff. But I have that, and inside of that is my Kaweco Sport fountain pen. So this is just a plastic resin with a fountain pen on the end. This is the fine nib. And then I have some Kuwaiko pink ink in there. Um, I can't remember the exact name of the ink, but I love little pocket fountain pens. I like writing with fountain pens. Um, one, they're smoother. Two, they make me slow down. And I think my handwriting is normally better with this, with any fountain pen. But this is the one that's in my pocket every single day. Um, I do have a commonplace journal that's in my bag that I'm calling it. Um, I take different notes in there. We'll talk about that in a different video. But I write a lot with this pen. It's what I do homework with. It's what I do all my stuff with. That's in the left pocket. In the back right pocket, we have, boom, this is a handkerchief that I was given for Christmas by um, one of the uh, ladies from our church. She gave me this one and my wife another one. And so it's a little higher quality than the ones that I was carrying from Walmart. And I thought it was really thoughtful. So it is in my pocket. The only time it is not is if it needs to be washed. Now, I don't do the whole snot thing like my snot. Like I'm not blowing my nose in this. I use this occasionally to clean off my glasses, to wipe off my screens. The only snot that goes in here is my daughter's. If she's not feeling well and is sneezing, I'll use it. 
but most of the time I'm wiping little drools off my mouth. I use a lot if I get work done from the dentist. Um, and just really there to clean up small spills or deal with small stuff. So I'm not like <laughs> in this thing. I, I think that part is gross, but I do use this quite often for glasses and stuff like that. And then I have the church phone. Um, we went to a church cell phone because I don't do traditional office ministry. I work a lot from home. And so the church number that we had, it we had had for a long, long time. And it was beginning to just get filled and filled with junk. So we switched to a cell phone. This is the Samsung Z Flip Fold. Um, and the only reason we went with this is because it was free. I went with Samsung for the church because my associate pastor um, is more familiar with that. So I figured it'd be fair to both of us. Plus, it gave us the chance just to kind of have a small, compact device that can go somewhere and, and not be a big deal. Um, it charges with USB-C too. So my AirPods and even my phone, which we'll talk about in a second, and my iPad, which we'll talk about in a different video. Everything I have charged with USB-C, but this thing is sweet. I mainly use it, obviously, for phone calls and emails from the church specifically, but it also runs uh, some of our social medias when I post, and it records the videos and stuff like that for um, our church, Facebook, Instagram, and sometimes YouTube. Now, the Z Flip Fold is not meant to be a media-heavy um, content creation device. This is strict as it comes like it's just a phone but there is something satisfying about hanging up phone calls like that so i have the church phone just put a cheap amazon case on there to protect it um little fake leather case but it looks good looks professional and i enjoy having the church on a cell phone when i leave um, and i'm not here or i'm on a trip or whatever i can give this to my associate pastor and he can run it. I do have an iPhone 15 Pro Max. That is currently what I'm recording off of. I stick with iPhones because I am inside of the I Apple ecosystem. I got my Apple Watch. I have my MacBook Air um, with the M1 chip. I have my iPad Air with the M1 chip. I have AirPods and all of that seamlessly goes together and connects. And I will show you how I use all of it together in a future video. But um, the last thing that I carry on my person because that phone that you are being recorded on right now has just a generic Walmart pink MagSafe case on it. But the last thing I carry on my person, and this is a video for a different day, is this Nutsack Satchel. Um, now I carry a ton of different EDC bags. I go through them a lot. Um, I was rocking the Tom Talk, which is probably what I will rock in travel scenarios. But right now for the daily, I have been carrying this thing. Now I don't want to go to, I don't want to go into this bag today because this video has been long enough. But I always have this bag on me, and this just has external things that I need um, on the daily with my daughter, with me, and my personal needs for my work. And this small little messenger bag does that phenomenally. So we'll talk about that bag in a different video. Uh, but for today, hey, what is the one thing that you carry and cannot leave the house without? Now, I know this is a spiritual channel and a Christian channel, so the, the attitude is going to be, well, where's your Bible? Where's your Bible? I have a, ba I have a Bible in my bag. I always have, this is my EDC Bible that I use every day. This is my preaching Bible. They're all behind me. I'm in my home office. So don't over-spiritualize it. But what is something you leave the house with every day? Everybody's got an everyday carry. What does yours look like? Remember, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the thing that we can carry with us every day in every situation, no matter what. He's never going anywhere. So all this junk may fade. Eventually, my tech is going to be outdated. This thing could get caught up in a fire camping and burn up its wood. Um, flashlights can corrode and whatever. The one thing that is never going to go away is our relationship with Jesus Christ and his word. So hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.